So how do you set up a YouTube live event via um, Google Hangouts? Well, the first thing we're going to do here is get logged in as yourself, because obviously this is my channel. Well, I'll go through my video manager. Then we'll come down to the side here, and what we're looking for is live streaming. Ignore that. And we want an event. So as you see here, it says stream now or events. Go events. And close that again. New live event. Now you give it a title. So we can call that a test event. One, two, three. Uh, when are we going to broadcast? We're going to do it now. I'm not going to put a, you can put an end and start time, so you can alter these to suit because you can broadcast these early so people are aware it's going on. <coughs> Fill in your description as normal, you know, whatever you want, and then you put your tags in as normal. And this is the important bit make sure you put quick using Google Hangouts on there because if you click custom and then click return go live now, it won't go back. I'll tell you that now. Um, now, because this is a test event, I don't really want my subscribers seeing it. So what I'll do is I'll actually put this as unlisted. This basically means nobody can see it, but obviously the people that have the link. Um, you can also run private events. You know, you've got the three options here. But unlisted because obviously this isn't a real event. It's a test event uh, just to show how this works. Advanced settings. Enable live chat, yes, you want live chat. Uh, block spam messages, yeah, I'll leave that on. Monetization, you can have it so that um, you can put it all on every platform or platforms that only pay to view, which is like your AdSense, you know, the adverts pop up and um, it's never aired on the US TV, of course not, because we're about to make it. Um, what category you want it in, you know, what you're going to talk about. Video location, you can actually add this, uh, search, and it'll give you a map location. At the moment, where's this say? Uh, Guadalupe dried mangoes. I don't know why that's there. Uh, what language it's in, because sometimes it helps with Google search, also for people wanting to translate. Recording today, yes. You can obviously put different dates, but these are live events, so you're going to record it today. Any paid promotions on there? No. Sports, sponsorships or play endorsements? No. There's little rules relating to these. You can look at them yourself. And that's basically it. Livestream is 360. Whoa, where did this come from? This is new. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> it's not supported for low latency. Because the thing is, my internet bandwidth wouldn't support a 360 video. I'll tell you that now. Uh, don't want any delay on the video starting. And then we just click, oh, we've got monetization, yes, we'll have everything on. Then just click go live now. <coughs> and then off it'll go. Okay, so it's telling me it's ready to go. So we're going to go Google Hangouts on there. Okay, this will be interesting because I'm not sure if we're logged in or not. Now, as you can see, it's put us through on two windows. You get this little green thing wobble up and down that it's actually finding me and setting things up. Um, one of the things I do recommend is actually switching the video off um, because bandwidth is an issue. So generally, I have it like this, where you have this little uh, circle with the sound moving saying, that's Matt talking. Um, it's the most simple way of doing this. Um, now, this is the Google Hangouts. This is actually broadcasting live into your YouTube. <coughs> <coughs> now, one of the things I will say though, nothing happens till you click this little start button. Um, so I'm going to start a broadcast and I'm hoping this will work. So I'm going to save this first because there's a reason it might not work, which is basically it might want my microphone and stuff when we're already using it. Okay, so what we've got here is this button will start the broadcast. Now, before you do that, if you're going to have a live chat with somebody else, you want to add them in here. And you just have to tap their name in because obviously they're going to need to have a Google Plus account. Um, I'm just going to add Jay in here. 
as you can see, there's a few J Stillman, which is why you do this in advance of going live, because obviously you go, oh, I'm just going to get J on, and then you go, hang on, which one is he? Because it's giving you all the Google Plus accounts with J Stillman as a name, but that's the J we know. And then basically that will send him an invite. I'm not going to do that to him, though, because I know he's asleep in bed, because he's in Australia, I'm in Spain. <laughs> but... You can add multiple people, and that's how they send the invites out. Uh, you can also send this link out, and obviously it can send via uh, Google Plus or Gmails. So I'll leave that for now. So what we're going to do, we're going to make this live, and fingers crossed it works. And uh, like I says, I'm using the audio now to talk to you through here, so it might have a fit as soon as I press the start broadcast. Because I want to show you the live da the dashboard, so this is why I've got to do it. So we go start broadcast. Your hangouts and air will broadcast on YouTube. You can broadcast up to eight hours. Okay, let's go for it. So you can see it's starting, and that's it. We're now live through YouTube. Now, what you will see here, if we go back to the YouTube menu, um, this should update. So hang on, let's just press. An update because it should actually say well, there we are. Where are we? It's vanished on my hang on a minute. Events. Test event. There you go. See? Test event. Live control room. As you can see, it's not it's a bit fiddly because you've got to go between the hangouts and the live control room. And there's a reason you need the control room. You'll see why in a minute. Right, the first thing you can see is I have crap bandwidth. So it's currently at 2.30 and it recommends 2,500. Um, so it's NAF. So, but, you know what I was saying about you can put alerts on the video. Um, so like, say you were 10 minutes late and you said, oh, give us five minutes to get organized. Uh, you can do that and it will automatically update the screen with that message saying, you know, that you'll be back shortly or whatever. So be aware of that. Uh, you can insert ads, blah, blah, blah. Um, not really getting into that yet because I'll do other videos on that. But now we can go into the live chat. So let's open the live chat in a new tab. This is where you'll get your engagement from the people you're talking with. This is actually a live chat window. It's not a giant window, which it appears to be. Um, Pull that down a bit. You can see here I am at the bottom. Hello, it's me, Matt. So this is in the live chat. This is where people watching you on YouTube will leave messages for you. Now it, you can organize this a bit better so that things are where you want them, because uh, everything should be pretty much drag and drop. If I remember right. Do do do. Might be slightly different because I'm on my Mac today. Uh, so let's leave that. Public view. Okay, so that should be. Don't want to play the music, the sound, because it'll actually show the sound that I'm talking to. Uh, Super chat is this new feature that's with um, Google Hangouts and YouTube. Basically, people pay to have their adverts or whatever they want. It's a bit of a feature for subscribers um, where they can say whether they, you know, they could say give you $5 to say they appreciate your channel, that sort of thing. Um, so that that's what this is, and it's not really loading very well on here. Uh, it's the first time I've loaded it. So we'll ignore that for now because you can just activate it um, and it'll work anyway. So... There we go. There's the live. There's the public view. It's back. And what I want to try and do is open the view that everybody else sees. So open linking new tab. This is what people see, and I normally sit on this one to be honest, because that's the one we were just on is allegedly the live control room. But this is the one I prefer to use because everything's where I can see it, uh, which is the view that you as a viewer can see. As you can see, the live chat is now here. The super chat button is here. Now, as you can see, it's disabled on here because we've got it unlisted, but that's where it is. And you can see this goes through 
straight through into YouTube from Google Hangouts and it's basically saying what I'm saying. I'm not going to play it for obvious reasons. It'll just go over what I'm actually talking about. I mean, if I press play now, just to prove that it's actually recording what I'm saying, this will go back to the beginning when we started. Now, what you will see here, if we go back to the YouTube menu, see, it's recorded everything, and there's a little bit, you can put a bit of a delay on it. You can add a, um, the good thing about this is if you joined it now, it doesn't mean you have to watch it right now. You can actually go back and watch it from the beginning so you haven't missed anything, which is pretty good. You know, if you wanted to catch up, it'd say you're a couple of minutes late, you could you can whiz through it just to try and catch up with everybody else. Or you can say, Oh, I need to watch the last the first two minutes later, that sort of thing. But that's basically it. It's not difficult. And the most important thing, um, which people forget is when you finished all your broadcasting you need to press stop because <laughs> it will leave your mic open and people can hear you wandering around the house going to the bathroom or whatever okay that broadcast is finished and I just realized something what happens next is going to be the question first thing is this chat will expire at some point it will lock once it realizes the video is finished um, if I update this now, it should actually see that the video is no longer accessible in the same way. Okay, still chat. So let's put, hi everyone, see if it will let me do it, because it shouldn't. That's it, we're now live. This should have closed. Still there. So that should have recognized that the audio is finished. But if we go back here, update this. That's it. We're now live oh, through YouTube. Stop there. Go back here. Uh, stream status, no data. Playbacks two. See, it's already telling me that I played it twice. And that's me. You know, that's not the uh, subscribers or viewers because obviously nobody can see this. Um, but if we go to the events now, because obviously it's finished, it should actually recognize the event. Where have you gone? Okay, it's sent it over to the video manager now. It's come out of here. This is why it's a bit clicky, because sometimes you're thinking, where? what's it done with it? Is it deleted it or what? But it's actually here. <laughs> it's moved it. Um, so now is your test event. And if we click in here, it's telling you it's processing. It's not ready yet. So once it's processed, it will actually update this. And these comments should actually stop because you shouldn't be able to keep going, but it um, it will stop sooner or later. I think as soon as it's finished processing. So let's close that window. And I'm just gonna reload that because it shouldn't take too long to do this. Okay, so it stopped the recording, uh, processing. So as you can see, it's no longer saying processing. Click on it, I opened it up. First thing I wanna say is the live chat is gone and they do not appear as comments. That's an important fact. <coughs> now, another thing I forgot to mention, uh, there is another live chat for people in Google Hangouts, which actually is hidden over here. So you've got two live chats, plus the other bits and pieces you're doing at the same time. And also if you have mic issues, um, you can set this up in advance. Um, I might cover that as a separate video because, you know, it's to do with the, uh, the volume normally. Um, but that's basically it. Oh, and you've got your links down here. This is your links for the YouTube page and to embed the video because you can stick it on a website that you're currently live, um, th throw it into your um, Facebook page, whatever you want to do with it. Um, that's it. Thanks for watching.